Paul from Trusted House Painter here, doing a little uh, product demo for this, what they call Circa 50. It is a varnish and paint remover. And the reason why we're doing this uh, little demo is because we've removed some siding and the siding was painted and it was uh, painted over a stain. So if you look carefully, you can see that the original wood here is wood. And then you see a little line of white that's probably a primer that might be a solid stain of a previous coating and then you see green so the green identifies paint i know that because it's it's shiny and it's got these bubbles all over it and when you and just by simply popping a bubble you can see that i'm lifting up the paint and it's happening everywhere all through here so because this is rough cut cedar it makes it very difficult to use a flat scraper and try and get edges without actually damaging the grains of the wood so what we've done is we've taken a heat stripper to give it a try and now we're going to use this paint and varnish remover this is super toxic stuff i don't know if they're going to be selling it much longer they have a much better you know uh, retail consumer level products that are safe and that you can use that are similar like this but i'm just going to show you how this works and how it's going to penetrate this and then i'm going to do a little sample of taking it off so what i do first is i just pour a little bit on just a tad bit it's kind of gooey what i do is i take this paintbrush and i just kind of work it in you can see how it's already taking it off it's actually taking off the uh the paint it's almost as if I'm unpainting it. So you work it on. Keep in mind you need gloves. You should be wearing uh, eye goggles. They're on my head, but that's all right. You just want to work it in. Now, in hotter temperatures, this activates more. Um, and another tip is once you do this and you strip it, you should then neutralize the wood with a, a neutralizer water solution so that you can be able to stain it and paint it and that's not soaking into the wood after you paint it. Most residential varnish removers and stain paint removers, they don't need that uh, neutralizer. Anyway, so I've kind of done that there. So you can see how easy this is, just simply slightly scratching it, going with the grains. Now, if I had a, um, a wire brush, it might help. So what's happening here is that this green layer you can see how easily it's coming off. I'm putting no pressure on it. It's easily coming off. And the coating below it, which is the white or the cream color, is also coming off. But it's not coming off as gooey and gummy as the green. The green is an acrylic latex, and it's sticky and gummy. Whereas I believe from what we're seeing here, the white is probably an oil paint. I'm not 100% sure. But you can see it's even activating right now with the little bubbles on the white. So it's gone through the green. So this is generally what most uh, paint and stain removers look like when you're doing it. Now, I'm just doing this for demo purposes uh, to see what it looks like, but I would definitely use a wire brush in order to scrape that off and then to actually um, maintain the wood grains. So that's what you do. You make sure you want to clean it up properly. Uh, this was just a test sample. We're going to go ahead and do a big, big aspect of it. So we're going to put down drop sheets. We're going to keep all this contamination kept close. Then we're going to dispose of it properly. Um, so remember, you can paint cedar, but when you only paint cedar with the wrong primer, this is what happens. It bubbles in the heat of the sun. It hits, heats it up, and it bubbles, and it pulls away. Cedar loves stains, solid stains. If you can stick to solid stains, you should. If you want to paint it, use a long oil primer, and then you can put your acrylic latex on it. But hope this uh, was educational for you. If you got more information, you can call us at one 66 paint 18 that's 18667246818 and if you have a painting project that you need done you can post your project at trustedelspainter.com and you can find local painters near you